Okay, mother gang, it is launch day. And I am on my way. I'm just not leaving my house. I'm on my way to my mom's because that is literally where I keep um, all of my merchandise simply because like me and my boyfriend plan on moving in the next couple months. So like my mom's house is, I guess you could say, is this focusing? Where's the light? That is my office. So um, she lives about an hour away. And in today's video, we're just gonna um, do a launch day where uh not where i got my merchandise how i'm gonna ship package my office space and stuff like that so i just hope you guys love it what's up mother gang i'm back i'm back i'm back i'm back it's been like what two years possibly three who knows but i'm back and as you can see i'm back with Kanor couture which is my business my llc go but um, I'm back with my LLC, Kanor Couture, and today we're just going to be doing like a launch day video. Um, so far it is 3.37. I have three orders to fulfill and ship off, which is fine. I only expected like five to ten orders on launch day alone. So I'm very excited. Thank you guys for supporting. Um, I told everybody on social media that if you ordered, if you placed your order by 5 p.m. that I was going to ship it out today, which I am going to do. Um, I'm going to show you guys my little work area, my workspace and everything. Um, and we're just going to dive right into the video. Did I press square? I did. Okay, so um, I'm just going to give you guys like a background of Kanor Couture, how I started, how long it took me and things like that. So, um, I came up with the name because Kanor is my middle name. So, Kanor, I was like, hmm, nobody has that because my mom was very unique when she came up with Kanor. Um, so, and then I was like, okay, Kanor Boutique, Kanor this, Kanor that, Kanor blah, blah, blah. I couldn't really, you know, like figure it out. And then, like, I saw Couture spelled with the C. And then I was like, hmm, Kanor Couture. And then, like, for sure, I could use KK. So that's how I got the name. Um, it took me probably an hour to two hours to come up with Kanor Couture because originally I come, I um, started saying, like, Nijin Co., Nijin Company, Nijin this, Nijin that. And GoDaddy was just not letting me be great because I guess, like, everything was sold out or, like, I don't know. It was weird. I can't remember what happened, but that did not work. Um, so after I came up with my name, um, I went ahead and I paid for it on GoDaddy. And I also went um, online to get my LLC. And this is my LLC. So it is Kanor Couture LLC. Um, the Secretary of State approved it on... February 9th. Now, it got approved February 9th, and we're just now launching today, April 1st, simply because I wanted the whole month of March to, like, perfect and um, build and get all my merchandise together, trial and error runs, like, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I really wanted to do, get all the legal fees and legal documents out of the way, so I really just wanted to, you know, like, brace myself and um, everything, so that's why I put the launching date so far out. So, like I said earlier, I have a binder with all of my business information in it and my business card right up here. I carry this binder with me, but I'm going to start leaving um, one in my mom's house and one in my house so I don't have to, you know, carry around this big binder every time I go somewhere. Okay, so inside of my binder, um, I have... Hold on, guys. I'm trying to organize my little pouches. Okay, so on this side, I have two receipts. These are my camera receipts. <laughs> I just wanted to um, make sure I kept up with those because in case anything happens to my camera, I didn't want to lose them. Um, also, I have this hole punch. Um, for, like, if I'm hole punching, just, like, one or two things. And then, of course, I have my LLC in the front. Um, after my LLC... I have a list of goals for myself and what I want to achieve with my business. Now, this is just like a list. It's not like, oh, I want to achieve this within a month, this within a year, this within two weeks. It is literally just like a list of all my goals. Um, after my goals page, I have my website info. So, like, that is um, every website I have and the email and the password that I use because I have two separate emails. One of my emails I use for just like legal business and things like that and then my other email I have 
I use for um, my Shopify and my website account. So like, let's say you guys have a problem with some of your orders or something that has shipped, you will email the sales at canorcouture.com. So after my password and my website info, I have my business plan. Um, my business plan is basically just like an outline of like uh how the business is gonna go and things like that and the people i have working for me i really don't have like <laughs> you know like actual staff members it's really family based for right now um after that i have a page with my vendors on it um just so i'll know and like who i used and who i didn't use who i liked who i didn't like and things like that of that sort after my um vendors page i have this right here this is a list if you see at top it says of all the um glasses so those are all the names of my glasses like i once again just so i know everything i have after my glasses comes my lip gloss the name of all of my lip glosses after my lip glosses i have a page with all of my um eyelashes the millimeter and the name of my lashes so like i don't know okay this sold out um this fast and whatever whatever so i have to keep all of that because i'm very forgetful if i didn't write this down i wouldn't know what i'd be doing i'd be running around looking crazy that's not a good look so after i have um the lashes i have my monthly expenses just so i'll know like what i'm paying a month for um for my business and stuff like that so it's really good to well it's good for me to keep it all in a binder because i will lose it i also have um a folder with um all of the other legal documents like my reseller's permit my ein that is all in this one little folder here and i just keep this folder in the back of my binder i also have like some more folders and stuff like that in a separate bin that I'll probably be showing to you guys later on throughout the video. So, um, okay, so it is 4.54, which is close to 5 o'clock. I said place your order by 5 o'clock for it to be shipped out today. So I'm just going to, like, go ahead and um, get the few little orders, the three orders that um, I did get today, get them ready, and get, um, get them shipped out. I'm going to show you guys, like, how I do that. And just, like, a miniature fake office tour because this is my office <laughs> so um i'm gonna show you guys all of that um make sure you sorry guys he wanted my phone make sure um if you didn't purchase anything and you're watching this video that you go to canorcouture.com there will be a link down in the description and just view the page everything on the website is under twenty dollars and also um if you subscribe to text messages you get 10 percent off of your order and even if you don't place an order it's still good because when i drop the clothing line um a text message will be sent out saying hey these are some new items our newest arrival so make sure you sign up for the text messages it is me that is sending you text messages so they will not be constant you know how like fashion over blows your phone up i'm not fashion over it's canor tour okay okay so this is my office space for right now um at my mother's house um i got these from target and as you can see they're labeled focus camera focus but um everything has a label so my first drawer is nothing but my sunglasses my next drawer is my lashes and my lash packs sorry i'm just like i'm rushing because my camera is about to die and then last but not least i have my miniature purchases um over here is the type of printer I use, and this is just my box full of legal things. Like I told you guys, I have some more folders with some different things in it, and I just keep um, the folders over there. Um, coming over here, over here at the top, this is um, my shipping thing. This is everything that needs to be shipped. These are orders that I'm going to fulfill and get sent out today. Um, up here are my lip glosses. Everything is labeled. And then these two drawers are for my clothing that I have not put out yet, which will be coming very, very soon. So make sure you guys um, are on that. And of course, this is an order that I have packaged and is getting ready to ship. I print a packing slip. I have my thank you and my business card in here. And she's getting a very big, big bag because she ordered three items. But also because um, I am shipping out 
water bottles to the first 10 customers that order. So these are the three orders that I have packaged and ready to um, get sent to the post office. So these, well, these are all three packages in my little container that I'm going to take home. Um, I'm taking my ring light home simply because I'm going to have to um, record. I'm recording this on my phone. I'm going to have to um, record some of my YouTube at home. So these are my packages and my camera and everything that I have to take home in here. Okay, so um, I'm at home and um, my camera started dying. So I had to come home and you know, finish my video because I told Mother Gang that I was coming back. And I meant that I was coming the fuck back. Anyway, <laughs> um, my camera died. The charger was here at my house. Don't ask why I didn't bring a charger. Different story, different day. But, um, okay, so if you are, or, yeah, are, because I only got five orders today. But anyway, if you are one of the first 10 people to order something from my site, you get this acrylic water bottle with Konorka Tour on it for free. You don't have to put in a code or anything like that. You just get it for free. Uh, if you're one of the first 10 orders today I got five orders and um, on my first day of sales so far at 909 I have made 130 40 50 dollars one of those can't really remember um, on my first day launch day so like I said visit the um, the website and if you sign up for text messages you'll um you'll know when i drop the clothes and everything um so i use shopify for my um website so through shopify with the shipping um it creates i had to put in the weight of everything and it creates a shipping label for you sorry guys i'm looking that way my dog's outside right now but um it creates a shipping label for you and it automatically uh, um makes your customer pay what it thinks you will have to pay at the post office for your ship so therefore that's a really 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 easy um inside of the bags when you order with me you get um a packing slip and I just check it off like I was talking about in the video so I'll know that I put everything in there you'll know that you received everything and then I keep a copy for myself getting the things to the post office is really easy um, I have crates bins to take stuff to the post office in um, today I only had three orders so that was really easy but um, since Shopify creates the shipping label for you all you have to do is print it off and you can take your package straight to the post office and have them shipped off you don't have to stand in line wait for people to weigh it or any of that because I put the weight in already and I have a um, weighing scale. So for my first launch day, I would say compared to eye candy, I want to say it was better. Can't really remember what I did with eye candy because like I was so young starting it. I really didn't like have a future or plan. I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew I um, wanted my own business and things like that. But I didn't take like the same steps and precautions that I took with Kenorka Tour with the eye candy. <clears throat> That's why I said I waited a whole month before I launched my actual website then the day I purchased my LLC. And like I said, I only did that so I could get a reseller's permit and like be legit. Because with the reseller's permit, you can actually like claim taxes on your business and you get way, way, way better vendors with your reseller's permit. I love it. Um, so, you guys just stay tuned. I'm going to do a video also when I um, launch my clothes so you guys can see the clothes. I'll try them on myself and um, in a video. So, it'll be a Kenor Couture haul. <laughs> um, I haven't done one of those in a long time. A haul. Like two, three years. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment, um, visit my website, and that's it.